Former Minnesota Governor and U.S. Senator Wendell Anderson has died. Anderson, who was a member of the DFL party, was surrounded by his family and friends when he passed away. Here's Pat Kessler with a look at Anderson's life. Wendell Anderson was Minnesota's newsmaking governor and U.S. Senator during the heady 1970s. He was already famous as a member of the 1956 silver medal U.S. Olympic hockey team. Anderson won the governor's office in a contested 1970 election. He told us in a 1998 interview the Senate and Supreme Court didn't show up for his swearing in, so they scrambled to find a judge. Finally, they found a, a, a federal judge who happened to be there. Judge Lord. So he swore me in. I mean, it was just by accident. Mm -hmm. Anderson rose to national prominence after appearing on one of Time Magazine's most famous covers, The Good Life in Minnesota. But his political career ended after he arranged to be appointed to the U.S. Senate when Walter Mondale became vice president. He lost that Senate seat to Republican Rudy Boschwitz. I've always believed in the wisdom and judgment of the people of Minnesota. Anderson later served as a University of Minnesota regent, frequently testifying at the Capitol on education issues. He attended Governor Mark Dayton's State of the State address in 2011, and he sat in the front row of Dayton's 2015 swearing in. Anderson was in hospice care in recent months. He was 83 years old. Pat Kessler, WCCO 4 News. Memorial service arrangements for Governor Anderson will be announced in the coming days. Flags on state and federal buildings will be flown at half-staff starting tomorrow until his funeral.